So Astrobot is out. Yay! This is this is really fun because uh, so okay so I I was excited for when they announced Astrobot when because you know I played Astro's Playroom, really enjoyed it, and then when they announced Astrobot and I saw the trailer, I was like, this looks like Astro's Playroom, but like a full sized game, and I was just really excited by it. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to play it immediately when it came out. I went on vacation, and I was like, dang it! Why did it have to come out right? right as I was leaving for a vacation, so I didn't get to play it for like a couple weeks, but I finally did get to play it. I've gone through almost the entire game. I, I mean, I've gone through the entire story. I just haven't 100% completed it. I am working on that now, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the game, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, yeah, I think there was, there's been a lot of chatter on Astrobot recently. Um, I don't know if like really a lot, a lot of tra chatter, but um, I know everything, everything everybody's been saying has been super positive. And that's how I feel on this was as well. It is a platforming game, 3D platforming game. If you have a PS5, you can really basically, if you play Astro's Playroom, that is basically a demo for this game. Like that's that's literally what it is. Um, Astro Astrobot is literally like, uh, I think it took me about 14 hours to complete the whole campaign. I was also doing some other stuff as well. Um, but getting through all of the levels, like one one time through all of the levels, um, took me about 14 hours to get through. So it's a decently enough short game. And then you can go through and it's actually not too hard going through and 100% completing every level. Um, just going in and finding all the little Astro bots in there. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, really fun game. Let's, let's talk about uh, all the different aspects of the game. Uh, firstly, um, the gameplay itself is uh, very fun, very uh, engaging. Um, I would say it's it can be both very difficult and very easy at the same time. Kind of depends. Most of the story is actually relatively decently easy um, going through and the, the, the typical platforming and whatever um, throughout the main stage levels are, is, that is typically quite easy. Um, you can get through the entire thing. If you ignore like a lot of the side stuff and you just focus on doing the, um, doing the main, like the main missions and the, uh, the main levels, um, you can actually get through it relatively easily. But also, there are some very, very difficult levels as well. Um, actually, like right now, uh, I'm going to be showing th uh, footage. Uh, this is like this is footage of a, a level that took me 45 minutes to an hour to get to this point. Um, and it's, it is very difficult. This one was very, very, very difficult to get through. Um, I think there was there's this other level here, right here. Um, and this level took literally over an hour. I think I, think I, I recorded the entire thing to kind of time myself. But um, yeah, it took like an hour and five minutes. And it was, it's a lot of really like, like it feels very like, oh, like very stupid fails. But these are in fact very difficult levels um, because they'll, they'll throw things at you that you're not expecting. So trying like, and they're, I think they're meant to be challenge levels. Uh, they don't really say that they're challenge levels. Uh, it's the, it's, um, so there's like these, uh, there's an X, there, uh, so there are four galaxies that have these. Um, there's the square, triangle, X, and circle, uh, not in that order, um, of the different galaxies. So each galaxy has, uh, I think circle, square, triangle, I don't remember exactly what it was. No, I think it was, I don't, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't really remember exactly what it was. Specifically, uh, each, uh, each galaxy had what? Uh, for the shape, but um, the like the like the different ones that you're going through, each each of them uh, each of those four galaxies have have like four sets. Some of them are really really easy. I think um, there was in in the uh, with the X ones, the lost X's or the lost crosses. I think that's what they were calling them. Um, like I had one where I had a couple that I took five minutes to complete to get through. Um, one that I got through in the first round, and then one that took over an hour. Uh, so, they, so I think they have like a little bit of a ranging difficulty. And I think that's supposed to be more for like when you're doing, uh, like if you have like kids, like kind of a range of difficulty so that um, like you have kind of younger kids play it and they can kind of skip those levels because it's not necessary. And then you can have older players, uh, ones with more experience in the platforming area and they can like it, it'll it'll take them a little bit longer it'll still take them a while uh, it'll be more of a challenge for them but it also gives them a little bit more something to chew on as well so it kind 
kind of gives it like a range of, um, of experiences, kind of something to do, right? A little bit, little bit of something to have extra fun. Um, I just, I found this game mostly just absolutely adorable. Just so adorable. Um, you, have, you have these little, little, these little screenshots that you could take, uh, these little uh, things with, uh, where, where you can have, uh, kind of like, uh, where, I don't know what you call them. They're, they're like, they're posters with like a face cut out and then you can stick your face in and they had some of those little photo op areas uh, throughout some, most of the levels that you can find. And uh, those were really cute as well. Uh, uh, it even really, even at one point, um, there was a, like at the, in the crash landing, uh, crash site area, um, there's like four different areas you can go off to. And one of them is a snowy place. And I, as soon as like I got into that, I got into the snowy place. And I, no joke, there was a, there was a little round circle thing with the, that you could ice skate on. I, no joke, spent at least 20 minutes just skating around. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I, it was just, ah, oh, like, <laughs> you can see right now, it, like, the skating just is so satisfying, and it's just fun, and I, I love ice skating, personally, I do. And so, that, doing that was just, it was just a lot of fun. <laughs> it's just kind of like, you know, it's like, yeah, sure. Is it a whole lot of things that you're doing? Like, are you doing, like, a lot of, like, really crazy stuff? No. But it's, it is still just, it's adorably fun. It is. It, you know, I, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> it, it is just a little, it's a funny little thing. And I, I literally did spend, like I wasn't even intending to. I just, just didn't want to stop the ice skating. Um, but some, uh, some bots came in and uh, ended up interrupting it. So I had to stop. So I, you know, couldn't keep, I could have, I might have spent half an hour uh, doing that. But uh, the bots, uh, I got a little too close to the boss and they all started running over and then and then that I couldn't do it anymore. So um, Yeah, that's uh, that's cute. But um, you know, like there's there's just these little cute moments uh, little interactions um, The levels themselves are actually you know pretty varied um, Very diverse and in, in kind of the environments you get you get some um, more cute ones. And you've got some more spooky ones um, they, I think they all have, you know, kind of some distinct feels to them. So, um, even, even in different galaxies, um, uh, it's not just like, oh, one vibe over the entire thing. You know, each one of those has its own thing. And so that is definitely a lot of fun. The boss fights, I think were pretty good. They were, they were very easy. Um, you know, I can't say that, you know, boss fights, oh, they were like super challenging or anything like that. Probably because, you know, again, probably to, uh, keep the, um, to keep the challenge level a little bit lower for younger audiences to be able to um, get through as well. Um, but there, again, there are some side missions that you can do. There is one side boss fight that was actually well, that was actually pretty difficult to get through. Um, and I think the way they did it personally, I think the way they um, did the, like the way they, they do the challenge, it doesn't immediately feel like super, super challenging. Um, it's just like a lot of it is precise timing, you know, it's um, the mistakes are usually mistakes in timing and Of course when you first come across an obstacle, you don't know what the timing you don't know what it is You don't know what the timing is. You don't know how to do it So then you make an attempt you, you start, you know You start making attempts and then you fail and then as you as you continue to make attempts you're like, okay so I need to do it this way and That's how I get through that and then um, and then and then you come up across another obstacle and so the, you, hit, you hit that obstacle and you're like, okay, so um, then, then you're like, okay, then you figure out how to do that thing, but you have to go through the first thing first. Um, so you, you, you end up kind of coming into the, uh, like, like with the, uh, the challenge ones that I'm showing, like you, you end up having to do it so that it's a very, a very precise, very specific way of doing it. Now, is the way I did it the exact way everybody should be doing it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's the exact way that the developers had in mind or if I just ended up developing my own set of per perfect circumstances that ended up working the best, um, I don't know if I don't know if that was the intended design, or if if, um, if there are multiple paths you can do that um, all still end up in the same result. I don't know. Um, I just you know developed my own uh, way of going about and doing whatever level it was, and ended up with the end product of getting through the level, finally. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, yeah, the, the difficulty usually, because usually it doesn't feel like, because uh, like a lot of times, you know, one of my things, the things, reasons why I don't play 
uh, Souls-like games, or at least you know the actually intense ones, um, is that is because like when I look at it, I'm like, it's really hard boss fight, right? It feels more like your reaction times have to be pr have to be really quick, and you have to like um, like a bunch of different combos and um, all this all this stuff you've got to be really good at. And personally, I don't like banging my head against the wall. I really don't. Um, and this is why I don't play Souls-like games is because I'm like, uh, I think I did play the demo for um, Lies of P, I believe, and that's like a Souls-like game. And I came across a boss fight and I wasn't really having any fun with it because like I kept banging my head against the wall and it just felt like because it, it felt more like I wasn't good enough to actually, like, I, like my skill level was just so low on the ground that I just couldn't get through that boss fight. And if somebody who was better than me could easily just get through it. But Astrobot doesn't really feel like that. Astrobot feels more like um, is lack of knowledge of how to get through is what's keeping you, not the actual skill behind your play, if that makes any sense. Um, in, 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 in other words, uh, like when, as, you're, as you're going through, um, like you don't know exactly like, um, cause it's, it's mostly just like walking around and, um, and like jumping and like, there's not a ton of like in the actual gameplay, there's not a ton of skill required in the actual gameplay. It's more about um, knowing what's coming and being able to like go through it um, because you've gone through it like a hundred times, you know? Um, that's more like what it's like. So to me, it felt less like banging my head against the wall and more like I was progressively trying to, f I was progressively fi figuring out how to get through the level. As I was going, I was progressively getting better and more accurate and more precise in my timings as I was going through, instead of just like, I'm not good enough and I'm just having to try a bunch of times because I suck. And that's, that's, that's kind of the difference I put between, um, so like really the challenging ones weren't awful. You know, I, I mean, I'm, am, I, am I like, I'm not a fan of like doing things hundreds and hundreds of times, but I didn't feel like with um, Astro Bot, like the really challenging one, I didn't feel like I was really banging my head against the wall. I felt like it was, it was a challenge where it was like, okay, you just gotta make sure, you know, you just kind of have to do things in a certain way and do things a little bit more precisely and you gotta be a little bit more careful um, with how you do things and eventually you'll do it right. And then that thing will, you'll end up uh, figuring out and getting things, you know, and actually, actually end up completing the level. So that is kind of how, uh, the, the challenge wise, that's kind of how I see it. Um, it is definitely, they, there are definitely challenging levels and there are some much more easier ones. Um, there also are, uh, after each boss fight, there is a, like a special level um, with, that are more kind of geared towards a specific, uh, a specific franchise, I should say, uh, related to PlayStation. Um, the three that I recognized were Uncharted, uh, God of War, and Horizon. Um, there was a fourth, I think there were two others that I wasn't super, that didn't really jump. Oh wait, no, uh, one of them was, uh, more plant kind of based. I don't know exactly how to describe it. Um, I don't know if that one's based off of a franchise. I think that's the, I think that's one of the later, um, I think that's, that might be like the bird galaxy, I think. Um, I don't know exactly how to qualify. I, I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it really. And I don't think I got any footage of it. Um, but it, I don't think it's a part of really any franchise. Um, you know, maybe I will get some footage of it. I don't have any footage of it right now, but uh, I think I might have to replay that level. So I can always grab some footage of uh, me picking up a few, um, me picking up a few uh, extra bots and uh, completing like 100% completing that level. So I don't believe I did. So uh, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe you'll be maybe you'll be seeing it this entire time, and I don't know that yet. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, um, but there there are, there are a couple that uh, I, I'm not familiar with the franchise. Um, I don't know like most of. I don't recognize most of the characters. So um, a lot of the nostalgia really isn't there for me, and that's just because I haven't been around with PlayStation for a very long time. I mean, I got my PS5 probably about a, year, a little over a year and a half ago. Um, so it's it's not like I've had my PS5 for very long, um, or I've really been into the PlayStation area for very long. So it's you know, like I, I'm not super familiar with all that stuff, but um, there were some like God of War 
and Horizon and Uncharted that I, wa I was actually familiar with, so I did recognize those. Um, and there were some other characters that I did recognize throughout the game. And, uh, but yeah, so like even, even without having all that nostalgia with all of the stuff that they bring in, I still found it very enjoyable, very cute, very entertaining. Um, and uh, also, uh, one thing I do want to mention, uh, there was one thing I, I noticed in the, uh, like, like when I was playing the levels, there were these little, little spiral thing in, a couple, in some of the levels. Uh, like a collectible thing, um, and I was like, I was like, what is that? And what it is is there's actually like a secret exit in some of these levels uh, for to a lost galaxy, uh, a level in a lost galaxy, and uh, each, I believe, each galaxy has two uh, two planets with uh, a lot like a, a, an extra exit. And if you do that, then you then you have like a whole extra galaxy that you can play through. And I have played through one of those planets yet. As of right now, I haven't actually gone through. I'm kind of going through, and I'm just kind of 100% completing all that stuff. And then I'm going to go through and all the gal uh, lost galaxy stuff and go through and um, uh, get all that stuff and uh, hopefully 100% complete the game with that. Um, might have to see what other kind of uh, achievements and trophies that I can get, and hopefully maybe get a platinum out of this guy. Uh, I don't know, you know. <laughs> Uh, I don't typically go for like 100% completing in this one, but this game is fun enough that um, I do feel like going through and redoing the levels and you know just continuing to play a little bit more and just kind of collecting everything. And so I've, I've been having a lot of fun with this game, definitely. Um, and uh, I also can say that it also does have a, definitely has a high, pretty high level of quality in the gameplay itself, I feel like. Um, I, don't, I didn't run into anything that actually felt like a, it didn't really feel too gamey, I guess. Uh, like in, in, in a lot of AAA games, or a lot of games actually, um, there are things that where, where you, you, when you play it, you're like, yeah, this is a game. It's, it, there, it's just like, there's a certain level of brokenness you kind of expect out of games where you feel like you can easily break a game. Um, to me, at least, I know with back in the day, you know, you know, I don't probably go like 15, 20 years ago. Um, games used to have like a certain level of like, like where it didn't feel like you were able to break games easily. Um, Cause there wasn't a whole lot, there, there wasn't like a whole lot going on. So, you know, it didn't really feel like you could easily break the game or like do things, you know, that would break the game easily. I'm thinking more of Mario and whatnot, where it's like, um, like you're playing the game and it's like, it, they feel very polished, but it doesn't feel like there's like really, easily game-breaking things that you can do even though there definitely was it's just most people didn't usually know about it um at least i personally didn't know about it you know i've seen i've seen certain glitches but it also felt like like you'd run you wouldn't run into glitches kind of accidentally um you kind of felt like it felt like you kind of had to search out particular glitches um, i do remember specifically in lego marvel superheroes i remember there was this one particular glitch to get out of, on the outside of the map um, that I, I, I ended up learning about, I think in a YouTube video, probably like, ah, uh, gosh, this was a long time ago, probably eight years ago or so, uh, eight to nine years ago, um, learning about this little glitch and then, you know, be like, oh wow, I'm outside the map or whatever. Cause it, all the games really felt polished enough where it didn't really feel easy to break the game versus nowadays, um, in a lot of AAA games. Um, and this probably isn't something that's super, super new, and it's probably something that's been around for a very long time. I mean, you look at Bethesda games, they, for a long time, they've been very broken for the longest period, the longest time. Uh, I think it's usually just more complex games have, is, it's easier to break more complex games because there's more things going on, um, versus more simplistic games, which are not as easy to break. And so this is one of those where it's just like, there's not a ton going on, so it's not as easy to break the game. And it just doesn't feel like, and there's not as much, there's not as much uh, differing things you can do that might break the game. Um, or if you might find bugs in it. So I've, I haven't found any kind of bugs. I haven't run across anything, any kind of bug or glitch. So it feels very, very smooth and polished. And it looks really good. I mean, the graphics, it's phenomenal. Um, I also I also think that the way it uses the uh, PS5 DualSense controller does is is kind of fun because um, with uh, like I think Astrobot was initially like a uh, used for tech demos um, like back for the PS4 he was um, like he ended up being created for like to use as tech demos and stuff 
and like Astro's Playroom is mostly just a tech demo kind of demonstrating what the PS5 controller, the DualSense controller can do. And a lot of it is like, okay, you know, like you've got the resistance, uh, resistive uh, triggers, you've got the haptic feedback, you've got the motion controls in the controller, um, you've got the touchpad. Actually, I think the touchpad is the only thing that really doesn't get used. Um, you've got the microphone. And so all of these features really do just kind of get um, involved. And even even like the even the share button gets you know it gets a, it gets its own uh, little bit added in there. So it, um, so the game just kind of takes all of the features of your DualSense controller and then adds and then like integrates them so much into the game, um, and so that you really can't play this game. It or at the actually no yeah uh, you really can't there there's um, there's even some bits where uh, where you have to feel across. Uh, these uh, green panels and you have to feel it for where it's rougher uh, where the vibration is a little bit rougher and then you push into it so you really can't play this game without a dual sense controller because that's kind of the way the the game is built around the ps5 and the ps5 controller i don't know if this game will ever come to pc and if it does they might have they might end up um changing that little bit in the controller because you if you're going to be playing on PC, you can't expect people to be playing with it using a dual sense. So, um, but yeah, that's it is very integrated into the PS. It's very, it's very focused on being a PS5 game that a PS4 game could or a PS4 couldn't play it, and it's not going to be. It's going to have. They're going to have to change some things to put it on the PC. So you're not going to get the same experience on a PC. Maybe a minor, minor. There might be minor changes, but you're not going to get the same experience on a PC as you would on a PS5. So uh, I, I definitely appreciate what they did with that. So uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Astrobot. Um, yeah, so I like to talk about games and stuff like that. My experiences. This is a this is a new release. I don't do new releases too often, um, just because at least recently I haven't really been playing a ton of new releases. Uh, you know, I've been focusing on movies and uh, uh, older video games right now. Uh, I am still trying to play through Fallout 4. I want to make a video on that at some point. Um, but I gotta get through the I gotta get through the game first. Um, it's been taking me a while to get through that. So, anyways, yeah. If you guys want to watch uh, more videos on discussions and whatnot, you guys can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys like the video, go ahead and like it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.